Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning and turn off the hot and cold water supply valves. Your first step is to disconnect the water supply hoses from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Next, remove the screws at the back of the control panel. Slide the panel to the side to detach it from the main top. Detach the wires from the control board and set the control panel aside. Now, insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips securing the front panel. Pull the front panel forward and lift up to remove. Remove the two screws securing the main top. Slide the main top forward slightly, lift up, and use pliers to squeeze the lid switch wire retainer to release it from the frame. Now lift up the lid, squeeze the tab to release the lid switch, and pull it through the opening in the main top. You can now completely remove the top and set it aside. Next, remove the screws to release the rear panel, the control panel bracket, and trim. Use pliers to gently remove the air pressure tube from the old pressure switch. You should also use pliers to squeeze the tabs underneath the control panel bracket to release the pressure switch. Disconnect the wires from the old switch to remove it. You're now ready to install the new pressure switch. Connect the wires to the new switch. Now align the switch on the control panel bracket and snap it into place. With the bracket repositioned, connect the air pressure tube to the new switch. Replace the control panel trim by inserting the trim tabs into the slots in the frame. Reposition the rear panel and secure all of the screws. Replace the main top by first inserting the lid switch through the hole in the top and snapping it into place. Snap the wire retainer into the frame. Now align the slots in the main top with the mounting tabs on the frame and push the main top back into position. Secure with the screws in the front. Reposition the front panel by aligning the tabs on the base with the slots at the bottom of the panel. Align the pins on the front of the cabinet with the holes in the front panel and snap the panel into position. Reconnect the wires to the control board. Insert the tabs on the bottom of the control panel into the slots in the main top. Replace the screws to secure the control panel. Reconnect the water supply hoses to the inlet valve. And turn the water supply back on. You're now ready to plug the power cord back in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.